Amazon has over 100,000 books on peace. A number of them take the self-help approach toward peace. Like this one, Inner Peace for Busy People, subtitled 52 Techniques to Find Peace in Your Life. So if your life is crazy busy, if you're stressed out, if you have no peace, these 52 things you should do or you should be doing. Is that our approach to peace? Remember in Galatians, Paul talks about peace. And Paul says, it is not a fruit of self, it is a fruit of the Spirit. The Bible teaches us that the Holy Spirit will give us peace. Peace as you and I walk with the Spirit, as we keep in step with the Spirit. Each day as you wake up and surrender your life to Jesus and ask God to fill you with His Spirit. As we allow ourselves daily to be filled with the Spirit, the fruit continues to grow. The fruit continues to show up in our lives. Again, it's not a fruit of self, it's a fruit of the Spirit. The Holy Spirit will produce the fruit of peace in your life. Now, before Jesus promises the Holy Spirit, He says, peace I leave with you. So Jesus says, my peace I give you. I do not give you peace as the world gives. Now, many of us, we hear Jesus say, I give you peace. And what do we typically hear? We hear Jesus saying, I give you a good doctor's report. I give you a perfect marriage. I give you the bonus you've been working hard for. So when we hear Jesus say, I give you peace, we hear, I fix your problems. I take your pressure off of you. No more trouble in this life because now you're a Christ follower. So we hear Jesus promising peace and we think in terms of circumstances, that he'll make things peaceful. But that's not what Jesus does. And Jesus knows that we live in a fallen world, that sin changed God's perfect world. Jesus actually promises us trouble in this world. But then he says, do not let your hearts be troubled. He promises us pressure and persecution. But then he says, I give you my peace. So in the midst of life's pressure, in the midst of overbearing weight, Jesus promises us peace. And maybe this will help. You see a frog here, I'm sure you're wondering what that's about. When Jamie came to live with us, we discussed our family's belief in God. We weren't going to force her to believe in God, but we shared why we believe in God and what we believe that God does in our life. And that as her new parents, we would let her down at times. Not intentionally, but we're flawed like every human being. But we have a perfect God who loves us perfectly, who we can count on, and He gives us peace, peace as we trust Him. So every time, Jamie, you see a frog, would you remember frog stands for fully rely on God? Fully rely on God, that we're gonna trust God. And peace, peace is one of the results and the rewards of the person who trusts in God and lives their life by fully relying on Him. May you experience peace today and this week.